Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Noah from TechnoBuffalo.com here at Google I.O. 2011. Make sure to get the Android backdrop over my shoulder there. Uh, it's day one, keynote this morning, focusing a lot on uh, Android, talking about um, Android 3.0.1 Honeycomb coming out. It's out today for Zoom owners. Uh, ice cream sandwich coming out in quarter four, Google Music Beta, Google Movies, all that kind of stuff. Uh, tomorrow, a second keynote, uh, probably going to talk about Chrome, we'll see. But in the meantime, walking around the show here, and it's not really a show so much as a developer's conference, so it's not like a full-on trade show environment, but, in, but there are a bunch of vendors here, hardware vendors, software vendors, and then just some kind of neat, interesting stuff. So let's go walk around, take a look, see what we can find. All right, so here's one of the more uh, eye-catching things. They demoed this when we came into the keynote this morning. This area was all covered by a big tarp, but now it's open. They demoed it during the keynote. Pretty cool. It's a giant labyrinth. Uh, I mean, this thing is probably about, oh, I'm bad with these things, but you know, there's a person, there's a panel, five, six panels. So I don't know, 30 feet by 30 feet, something like that. And uh, it's a giant wooden labyrinth. There's a little ball on it rolling around and it's being controlled uh, via the Android ADK. So somewhere, somebody's got a tablet, maybe that person up there on the, uh, on the catwalk, I'm not sure. But somebody's got a tablet controlling this thing, trying to roll the ball around to get it into the hole. Showing what you can do, you know, the, uh, the whole Android accessory thing that I talked about this morning and uh, Google opening up the ways that you can use Android, uh, not just on a device, but using it from one device to control another device, whether that would be, uh, you know, a hook into the exercise bike at the gym or uh, your home automation system with your lights or a giant wooden labyrinth. All we need now is for David Bowie to come out of the catwalk and walk around the labyrinth. All right, so here's some stuff going on from Hasbro. They've got some robots they're showing off. Robot, consumer robotics. So in this specific case, like there was an app developed for the phone that turns the robotic cradle into a cute little character that explores its environment, looks for people, and interacts with them. And on the software side, um, the app is utilizing a lot of the Google cloud service prototypes. So things like face recognition and object detection. So they're programmed to detect um, various objects and respond accordingly. What do we need to do? Can Android to support it? What do we need? How do we need to uh, We're gonna go add additional okay. cloud service? Wow. <laughs> Don't walk off, little buddy. <laughs> Come back here. Vegetables which cannot grow. All right, so here's a company called Farmbox, and uh, they've got a smartphone-controlled plant factory that you can have anywhere uh, in your refrigerator and document your growth data in the cloud. Check it out. We do not want to eat expensive vegetables. On the other hand, we go to the supermarket to get safe and cheap vegetables by car, even if it's too far. All right, here's something else that was shown off during the keynote today. Uh, Life Fitness, they've got uh, a prototype of an Android-based game. You hook your smartphone into the uh, life cycle here. And this reminds me a lot of the old arcade game Scramble, except instead of trying to blow up uh, enemy bases and rockets and stuff, you're just trying to pedal your way to healthy glory. And so it's all synced in with your uh, your smartphone and your life cycle there. One of the things that seems very interesting, and we'll see where it goes, is the accessory development uh, starter kit. The whole accessory kit uh, uh, sort of protocol that Google was talking about in the uh, keynote today that will allow companies to build and, and possibly home hobbyists, I think, to tinker around and build accessories to work with Android devices to connect via, uh, looks like via USB. Um, so, you know, things like the life cycle we saw, but all kinds of other things possible. And uh, this is where the whole open source nature of Android uh, could become really cool. Kind of a, a throwback to the days of, uh, you know, building the first home computers and home radios and that kind of stuff. Android robots, enough said. Lighting science showing uh, web-based home automation, lighting control. 
being controlled from an Android device. Take care. Bye bye. Did it, if you saw the keynote this morning, you saw they did a demo where they had uh, an Android device controlling the lighting uh, all over the stage and in the uh, in the theater. All kinds of Android games being shown off here. It's kind of cool. They have these little hubs, the Android robots. They did a really nice job this year making the uh, making the whole conference a little more yeah the, the presentation side of things. The keynote I thought was the best. Google. Uh, it wasn't a press only event, but the best kind of presentation, big, you know, keynote address or press event thing I've seen Google do in a while is very entertaining. Uh, still, you know, Google, uh, geeky Google at heart, which it should be, but a little more kind of slicked up, which was nice. But uh, a whole bunch of gaming demos going on over here. There's glue. There's EA showing off Scrabble. Oh. SPB showing off their uh, their shell for Android, alternate user interface. Zen Studios, they make some very cool pinball games. You can see it running here on a Zoom. Game Loft. And then uh, a bunch of other app demos, Not, not definitely not all games, all kinds of stuff. Intuit, make a lot of business software. Evernote, very popular, uh, again, for business. Coupons.com. I'm just walking around showing random stuff. We'll go over here to the uh, developer sandbox area. We've got some little lounges set up. So here's uh, NBA Digital. I may have to hang out here for a while. Watch some clips of the Lakers getting bounced from the playoffs. But as John said, you know, my Warriors didn't even make it in, and the uh, the Knicks got got swept in the first round. So, but here is uh, is this last night's game? This was an epic game. If this is last night's game, triple overtime thriller. Yeah, yep, yep, that was a great game. NBA Game Time on the uh, Google TV platform there. There's the ESPN, Lollihop, all kinds of stuff. Just give me a little bit of the flavor of Google I.O. 2011, in case you couldn't be here. We'll go over here to the wall of devices. This is pretty cool. They had this last year. This is um, just a whole slew of Android devices in a nice little green case with a bunch of toy robots. Phones you've seen, tablets you've seen, some you may never have seen. And then of course, so you're probably more interested in the, uh, the cool little droid robots than the devices. You've seen all the devices. I'm liking the style of that one with the Argyle. That one's pretty cool with the uh, Android behind the robot wheel, the driving wheel. Cupcake. Noogle. Noogler, sorry. Not Noogler. 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 So there you go. A little bit of the flavor. Kind of mellow up here. They, uh, they opened up the third floor. Last year it was only a two floor event. This year the third floor. So things are a little more spread out. It's actually kind of nice. Not super crowded all over the place. Also it's lunchtime. So most of the devs are down getting their lunch on. So there you go with the big, well, with the big, uh, the big lineup here of uh, of Android robots showing off all the apps live from Google I/O 2011 in San Francisco. Get myself back on camera. Wish you were here. What can I say? I'm Noah from TechnoBuffalo.com. Lots of coverage uh, all week long. What's going on in the Google world right here on Techno Buffalo? We'll see you next time.